We've gotten to the point where we're going to prepare the bed for installation. With my bed, the precise printer parts cast bed, we are going to clean it up, install our AC bed heater, our thermal fuse, our thermistor, and the magnetic cover. We have our Wago connector that we've already pressed the JSTs in. We're just gonna solder the back. We're gonna bridge those connectors. That way we can have it in and an out. And then we will put it in the NG. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay offers services such as 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and of course, custom PCBs. PCBWay allows you to upload your own designs to their site and choose how you want them built. I have the CNC bed carrier made from CNC aluminum with the black anodized finish. And this finish is beautiful. This piece is going to help with the overall structural rigidity of the bed and the z-axis. The overall process of ordering was extremely easy. From start to finish took a couple weeks and the part actually arrived in my hands a week earlier than expected. So thank you again to PCBWay for sponsoring this build and let's get this project moving. So before we get started today I just want to make sure that everyone here watching knows that messing around with mains voltage is dangerous and messing around with hot things can cause burns. So don't do exactly what I'm going to show you to do as far as like techniques go, um, but just like the general guides, okay? I am not a professional electrician, um, so anything you do just you do at your own risk um, but everything that I've done today has worked for me so just keep that in mind and if you're not comfortable with mains voltage have somebody else do it that is knowledgeable in this field so with that being said let's get started okay so this bed comes with this channel on the top face. You can you tell it's the top because you have your chamfered holes and these are so that your bed screws can go in and be flush. You have your option for your standard four screw leveling system or your three point leveling system. Um, since I have this carriage, I'm going with the four screw leveling method and that's also the one that I prefer. So first things first we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna install the heater pad first, the thermal fuse, and then we'll flip it over and we'll put the thermistor in the top, secure it with a little bit of captain tape, and then put the magnet on top. So First thing you want to do is you want to make sure your surface is clean. So we're just going to spray it with some isopropyl alcohol and give it a good wipe down. I'm going to place the thermal fuse a little bit off center to the left. And that way it will be on the left side, I mean on the right side of the lead screw. And typically, um, you would secure it with a screw. However, there's no screw hole right here, and I feel like this is too far back right here. So I'm going to put a piece of captain tape over this, and then I'm gonna put the heater pad on top of this as well. And then you wanna take your heater pad. I'm going to remove a portion of the backing up to about the first hole and you want to make sure the wires are going out of the back of the bed and then I'm just going to line up these two holes right here with the edge of the bed and 
we're going to press this down firmly, making sure no air underneath. And then we can slowly pull back the backing, pressing down towards the middle and out the sides. And just like that, our bed heater is installed and we can turn the bed over and install the thermistor and the magnet. You have two options on how to install the magnet. The first one is you can lay the magnet down and then cut out the holes for the screws and that is a viable option or you could preload the screws and then put a nut on the bottom side and that will secure it in place and that is the method that I'm going to do. So we're going to take our bolts that came provided with the bed and then we're going to take the thermistor. What I did was I just took the thermistor that was on my Ender 3 bed since I know it still works and we're just going to place this in this channel like so. And then we are going to secure it with some captain tape. We're going to drop our screws in. And thread on the washers and the nuts. With that done, we still have a nice flat surface to install the magnet. Start with making sure that the indents, if you have them, are in the rear. Peel back a portion of the magnet. And there is a line along the back of the bed. I'm going to match up this magnet with that line, like so. I'm going to press that down. Make sure that there's no air bubbles. So we have our ground wire, and one thing I don't currently have on me, but that's okay, is a ring terminal. Um, so what I'll use is a spade connector, and I'm going to strip off some of the insulation on the wire. connectors so we'll just take our Wago connectors and slide them in like so and then we're gonna mount this well first we have to solder this bridge so let me get my soldering iron uh, fired up. Okay, and with our soldering iron warmed up, we have our JST connectors, and I will just show you what we're doing. So, what we're going to do is we're going to just bridge these connectors, and we're going to do it carefully because we don't want to melt the, the JST connector housing. So, what we're going to do is I'm just going to take an Allen wrench and I'm going to flatten these out. When working with a soldering iron, be very careful. They are hot. So that is what we are trying to accomplish. And now with that done, this connector will lay flat against the bottom of the bed shut this off and move this out of the way and then I'll flip the NG over and we'll take a look at mounting the radio connectors and doing the wiring okay so we're back with the NG upside down as you can see we have the wires over here to the side our four mounting holes for the Wagos are right here and we have our Wago connector here 
So with the wires coming out on that side, we want to turn it so that all the openings for the Wagos are that way as well. And I went ahead and put some captain tape to cover the connections just in case, you know, anything moves and we don't want these contacts touching the bed plate. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to mount our Lego connector to the bed frame. Okay, we're back with the Wagos installed. So first things first, I think it would be easiest if we just go ahead and plug all the wires into the Wago connectors. And we will start with the ground cable first, since it is a singular wire, to this connector right here. And then we'll take the other part of the wire and insert that into the other opening on the Wago. Just like so. So our ground is complete. So we'll put that out of the way. Okay, and now we have our thermal fuse, which is this wire right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open one leg of one Wago, and we're going to insert that We're going to insert that in to one of them, like so. And then we're going to open the other one, and we're going to insert that into the leg of the other one. Just like All right, so this is a good point to go ahead and clean up your wiring. You want to make sure that everything is clear of your lead screw and your linear rod. Now is also a good time to grab some wire loom and get everything looking nice and pretty. And that way you won't have to go back and do it all over again like I just did. Take your time, make sure your wiring's nice and clean. Clean wiring makes for a clean printer. So now we have our connector and we'll plug it into With that, our wiring up front is complete. So, another thing to keep in mind too is doing this right now is a lot easier than trying to go back and doing it later. So, take your time with this process. So with the wiring cleaned up and routed through the back panel, we're going to go ahead and we are going to install our cover. So that just goes like so. And this is why we want to have some slack. And our bed is installed and ready to be hooked up to our electronics. So if you want info on the electronics, I'm going to have a separate video where I wire this printer up entirely and I will go over wiring of the AC bed and the SSR. So that's going to wrap this up for the bed wiring. I'm going to wire this up uh, with the rest of everything and move on from there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.